some people are nasty so it's so it's, it's a public toilet basically a public shower someone will take 10 years to shower and we'll grow in number Welcome back to Adulting Avenue with me, Rufudile. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this content. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I've been getting quite a few DMs and questions about, you know, accommodation in Bloom. Like I said, I've studied in Bloom. <laughs> Graduated also. So yeah, um, I'm like a serial private student accommodation person. I lived in most of these places. I have the 401 or the Intel. I can tell you everything. <laughs> so um, I'll just list the places that I personally think are like in the top 10 places to stay in when you are a student at maybe the UFS or maybe CUT or somewhere in Bloom and if you ideally are a UFS student these places are all within walking distance you know student accommodation so for me number one number one is Campus Key Lodgman or Lochman one of the Lodgman Lochman that's number one it's number one because like it's it's close to campus you can walk to campus you can walk from campus you can catch a taxi there on the corner the taxi drops you back on the corner like you can it's it's close it's close to transport if you're going to town and you're going to waterfront the mall it's close to campus it's close to the hospital like it's convenient for me it's also a nice place to live it's efficient it's clean it's well maintained and yeah like for me number one place um like i said in my other video if you're ever gonna live at campus key just have make sure <laughs> make sure you have money for laundry and for laundry tokens because they do not play with the prices high but definitely my num my top one place to stay at one thing i forgot to mention the reason why i also like campus keys because you have like you can choose you can choose whether you want to live with four people and share bathrooms you can choose to have your own shower like there's just a lot of selection for the room types you can have your own bathroom you can literally have your own room and not interact with anyone like be your own person in the kitchen be your own person in the bathroom you don't have to interact with anyone if you don't want to um number two i'll have to say um campus key when a vote there's another campus key i just didn't put it at number one because there's this there's a corner next to it that i don't like it's like yeah i don't like i don't like where it is and i feel like when you walk back from campus to um campus you go through this other street that isn't as busy as the the one that the lodgement street is so the road street isn't that busy you know so i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that it's quiet and yeah i just don't like that and i don't like the corner next to it um but it's still it's next to spa it's next to the road so you can catch a taxi yeah I'd say that's my number two. My number three is gonna be hmm, between Unilofts and Respublica, between those two. But based on my personal experience, I'll say I'll say it's a tie at number three because the mess I had at Unilofts is just because I had a like a bad egg for a roommate so that's what mm, spoiled it however it's just two of you it's supposed to be two of you in the in the flat so it's just you and a roommate the things that make me 
not like it that much is that you have to buy your own electricity they do give you like a hundred rands worth of electricity but it it flies so quick so you know you have to buy your own electricity um like you live with a stranger if you're not gonna live with someone that you know their their admin process if you ever want to change rooms it's it's climbing a mountain so just those things however it's next to campus it's not that close to the taxis but you can walk um to the street where the taxis are it's not that far it's like it's just a short walk um but it's safe it's safe to live there you have your own washing machine your own dryer your own bathroom with your roommate you share that um yeah i just don't like that i have to buy electricity because in winter the electricity prices are and it's very cold so you do the thinking and you you know you do your own laundry your laundry is eating your electricity your cooking is like matlakasi goes in bloom so i just don't like that res publica hmm, i don't like that you share with like i don't know i think there's eight of you in that apartment there's two bathrooms sure but some people are nasty so it's so it's, it's a public toilet basically public shower someone will take 10 years to shower like it's it's just that thing the things that make both of these places sit at number three is that you don't know who you're going to live with um hopefully at uni lost you can share with a friend but address publica definitely believe you're going to live with some strangers and we're not always we don't all you know treat people the same way so i put them at number three but i like res publica because there's wi-fi uncapped when i was there there was uncapped wi-fi you can do your laundry it's included in your rent electricity is included in your rent there's a heater in the room but we all know with these heaters it's not really a heater it's just a thing there on the wall but yeah electricity is included so your pocket money is your pocket money um they clean once a week um there's like a communal gym it's right next to spa like it's the, it's the closest to spa you can literally just walk across and you're at spa which is great when you have to do groceries um you don't have to walk very far and you can just literally stand outside the gate and get a taxi to town like it's, it's so convenient it's on the way but it's a bit further to campus it's not that far though you can walk like it's i walked there it wasn't far and trust me i wouldn't walk far so if i walked there anyone can walk there so those two are like my number three um i also don't like res publica that much because if you want to change rooms the admin i want to you're not uni loft that's why they had number three the admin <laughs> when you want to change a room it's it's crazy the things that like they just they don't want to basically so if you move in you move in so make sure when you move in that you are okay with that room otherwise it's going to be very hard for you to leave that room but if you want to leave res publica you give them a notice get your money back quick quick so definitely why they are at my number number three um there's another place um but i've never seen how people get to live there um so i'll i'll say it's my number four because it's close to campus it's afi campus i'll include a, a thing off their website i don't know anyone who's ever lived there i've never seen people who like i don't know anyone who's ever lived there I just see people going in there and coming out but i think it's a it's a nice place to live never lived there though i've only just passed outside and it, it looks nice honestly from outside don't know what politics they have there um number five there's this place they call it uni uni meat uni uni meant uni meat or something okay so just a disclaimer for uni uni meant or uni meant however you say that um it's usually a place that's like listed by estate agents and it's advertised on like gumtree you know like it's not 
listed anywhere else so it's like super private accommodation but it is in universitas it's just next to uni lofts so it's very close to campus so this is what it looks like inside so it's usually not advertised on an official website it's like on like property 24 um private property gum tree like it's owners you know um renting out their places to students so that's how you find it you find it by luck really never seen their website i always see them like advertising you know there's a room <laughs> yeah i've never seen their website but they're also really close to campus it's campus key <sighs> It's uni loft, it's uni mint, and then it's Afi campus, and then on the side it's um, campus key lodgement. So Leona, it's close to campus. Um, I'll say it's my number five. My okay, so my number six place would be all the places that are um, managed by Quattro residences. So this would be Keshani, Arabella. Um, umgeni, umhlali, umzinto. Like these places for me would be at like number six because most of the places that are managed or owned by Quattro um, have shuttles. So if you're not next to campus, there is a shuttle that will bring you to campus. And I guess the shuttles have different times that they come to campus, you know, and fetch people from campus and deliver people to campus so this for me is also another residence that i think is like it's a good idea to stay at i think they're cheaper than places that you find next to campus places that are the ones that i mentioned in the top five are very are expensive um yeah they're expensive so if you live further away from campus it gets a bit you know a bit more affordable so do check these places out um, I've left their links in the description box below and this is just my personal opinion <laughs> so if you're someone who is a NASFA student I did make a video for NASFA students um, just check that video out if you have any questions please leave them in the description box below thank you for watching and yeah um, if you have any other questions, leave them below. Bye!